Good morning, hello, welcome back. Um, awkward intro as usual. I just feel like it takes me a while to get warmed up whenever doing my vlog channel. Today, or you know, the series of days, is a series of DIYs. Now, I am very excited, very nervous. I feel like I've been planning these often, but I am always too chicken to execute on them or work them out. So let me tell you guys what projects we're doing in today's vlog. If you saw like my very first vlog, maybe it was the second one, I don't know. I got these really cute Chanel buttons and I want to turn them into earrings. So I literally already cut off the loop on the back of the buttons. So I am going to go find something because I think this is really sharp and I think I just like cut myself. I need to find something to sand this down with so that I can take this and glue it to here and then I have an earring. I hope it works out. Second one I want to do is my floor DIY tie-dye kits because I have them. I'm excited, but uh, this is the one I'm the most scared of because tie-dyeing is a big commitment. You got to get out the bottles. You got to get out the hot water. Sometimes you have to get out the salt. Like, it's just a lot. The last one is a TikTok DIY. Super nervous about it because, okay, look, 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 look. Forever go on TikTok, like I think at the beginning of December, I saw a TikTok where somebody got brown matte spray paint and they spray painted little houses that they got from Target. So I, I have this one. I have four of these, I have three of these. So what they do is they spray paint them with matte brown and then they look like gingerbread houses after that. Not only do they spray paint them matte brown, they use like plaster, that doesn't sound right. Some sort of hardware that you get from Home Depot and cake icing sleeves to paint the icing on. I'm semi looking forward to it, semi terrified of it, so. But oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I went to Party City whenever I was trying to get the stuff to pack Everly's birthday present. If you guys wanna check it out, it's linked somewhere around here. And they had Piggy, Roblox Piggy. You know, like if you come from my Roblox channel, you know what Piggy is. If you don't, I'm sorry. This is not a portion of the vlog for you. So I thought I would open these real quick like and see what we get. I didn't know these were a thing. Whoever made Piggy, rich. We got the clown one. He's got a hammer. He's the clown piggy. Okay, this one is, I don't know who this is. Who is this? I don't know. I hope that we get original piggy. Like that's what I want. I want original piggy. Original piggy. There we go guys, so original piggy. And then we have two more. Oh, another clown one. Okay, fine. Last, certainly not least, this guy. Again, not really sure what chapter he's from. He might be from the cabin in the woods one. I don't remember. Here's all the ones I got. And now we can, can commence to the next part of the vlog. Very exciting news. I was gonna go to the store and see kind of what I needed for all these DIYs, but actually I started doing the earring stuff already and it's working out. I have fashioned a little jump hoop onto this earring uh, loop thing. Now I'm going into the back of this earring and I've already done one and it's working out. Let me show you. <laughs> it's not that beautiful, but it is being held in place right now. This thing still kind of moves around. I just don't want to touch it because I've been, you know, working on gluing it on. I've been using this to put the glue onto the back of the earring and I think we're getting somewhere. The way I am doing this is I'm, I'm using this. I'm reaching into my E6000. I am putting it on the back of the button here. And then I'm taking this little jump ring, holding it tight, and then kind of resting it in there until I kind of feel like it's stuck. All right, so that, that's working. And then I take more of this and I'm just covering it, making sure that there is indeed enough glue to hold this in place. This feels like a temporary solution, but it'll at least hold this in place until I can like hot glue it or just something else, I don't know. Hello. It's golden hour. How do people take photos like this? Zach, do you want to help me do my DIYs that I've been not committing to? Oh yeah, I'm in my pajamas because yeah. we work from home. We do work from home. And it's only 6 a.m. I'm half in my pajamas and guys, the dermatologist told me to get some compression socks. She said it will help me not get spider veins. So I feel like I have completely reached like Gen X status. Maybe not quite boomer status, but definitely like maybe 40 year old woman status with my compression socks as I do my desk job. Anyway, let's try some TikTok hacks. Come on. Here's all the stuff I got for like the DIY moment. So of course we're going to do the earrings. They're in there. You can kind of, you can kind of see them. Guys, I did it. I turned these earrings into earrings. I mean these buttons into earrings. They look 
pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I just kind of glued these backs on. It's not the best, not the worst. It works. We are going to attempt to make a snow globe. We are gonna be tie dyeing my art club hoodie that Lauren sent me. I always thought that Laura DIY sent me, but I just think that's weird. But like, I don't know, like if I just say Lauren, if you guys will know who that is, like what that means. And we are making a gingerbread house. Okay, so this one's gonna be first. Luna's gonna help. She says, she says so good. So this is a gingerbread house DIY hack. The person basically painted the house matte black with spray paint and then she used a patch and paint spackle and piping bags to create the frosting kind of look. And they're supposed to last like, I guess indefinitely until you break them or throw them away. But I thought that this was an easy DIY and I thought we would give it a go. So first and foremost, I got some roof spray paint. I didn't know this was roof spray paint, but we're gonna try it anyway. Wow, oh, that cover is really easy. <laughs> So far so good, this should dry matte, so I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll bring it inside. I feel like we're doing like a speed round, just a speed round of DIYs. Next we're tie dyeing, it's gonna go okay. I read the instructions on the back, it just said to add water. I'm gonna try that. If it doesn't work, it's because I'm not good at tie dye. I saw Lauren do the tie dye and it looked really, really good. I've seen other people do it, it looks really, really good. So if this turns out like bad, it's because this just isn't one of my talents. Kind of like I'm very talented at gluing posts onto earrings or buttons and tie dye not one. But I think what I'm gonna do is probably just one color, just gonna make it pink and have it kind of like scrunched up like this. I don't own rubber bands, unless they came in the kit. Probably. I have the sweatshirt right here. I actually wanted to try to do something and I think it's gonna go really bad or it's gonna be really cute. We don't have to panic yet. I'm dying, I'm tie dying specifically in a white kitchen, in a white shirt, on white quartz countertops, by a white farmhouse sink and I, am ready. Now the tops, this is coral, but it looks more like a pastel pink. So I don't know which one I wanna use. We also have rubber bands, but I'm thinking I'm going rogue. Add water, apply dye, wrap and let set six to eight hours. Oh, well instruction sheet, I will not be using this. Like I said, we're following our heart. This is, I feel like just a bad idea. Oh no. Oh no, it's already getting dye in the sink. Cool. As we can see, it says art club. I was the president of my high school art club. So I'm gonna be very good at this. Basically, I'm dishing the gloves. So I wanna use this all over, the coral. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I'm trying to color in the words. Okay, it's actually going pretty well. Just kind of dab it on. I don't want to soak it too much because I don't want it to bleed too much. Like this is bleeding, but I just had a vision. Guys, I had a vision. So this one's gonna be yellow, like this. Then maybe we'll add a little bit of this coral to it to make it kind of orange. Oh no, I've ruined it. It's like, what is that? Oh no, it looks like a giraffe. You know, it's kind of orange. I don't plan on mixing any other colors. <laughs> That's about it. Here, okay, there we go. And then, plain yellow. Oh, the green was runny. Okay, now this blue is kind of wild and it's kind of on my fingers, so let's try doing a pastel blue, like this. Like it's definitely like a lighter blue than the regular blue, which it's all regular blue. I was just trying to do like a lighter blue. I grabbed the wrong color, dang it. Guys, the bee is looking really rough. The bee is looking rough, I'm just gonna Oh no, I'm trying to make purple. All right, here it is. This is what we're working with. My thought is now I'm gonna actually let this sit and dry for the eight to nine hours, then wash it, and then actually tie dye the rest. Um, I'll keep you posted if this works out. Next up, earring crafting. You guys can probably hear my dogs barking outside. I bought industrial nail files or it's they're not for your nails. I cut the backs off of these Chanel buttons. As you can see, I have to file them down a little bit more just so I can get them really flat to glue posts onto them. Yes, yeah, so we're doing more gluing. More and more gluing. And my fingers are now dyed just the worst color. <sighs> just in time for Christmas. These are very heavy and they would definitely damage your table. I feel like I should be wearing like protective eyewear or face wear. This is a bad idea, okay. Is this even working? Um, yeah, uh-huh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it all the way down. 
but I guess the closer I can get it, the better. I just had a revelation. Okay, so basically, here's how flat I got one of them, this one. Um, and this one's still pretty kind of bolted, but I just realized I can glue this into here, like this. My hands look disgusting, I, I'm so sorry. Anyway, just gonna break out the good old E6000. Use this as like a glue base, like, you know, like a palette, like an artist palette. Going to douse this in E6000, and then, glue that bad boy in. So basically, I think the best course of action is to kind of like, it's like an eyelash, eyelash glue, you gotta. Here they are, unless something goes really, really bad, I think they're gonna be okay, and I'm gonna let them try. Next up, we have a large snow globe, and I already know this is not gonna go well. <sighs> I've made one of these before, but it was on a much smaller scale. They didn't have small jars at Target. They only had these really, really big ones. So this is what I'm using. The thought is, is that you use baby oil and then like glitter, fake snow, anything you wanna add in. I have properly measured everything out. This should work fine. I should have enough liquid. However, once getting home, we realized that this does not twist to close. So I am going to attempt to hot glue it on and create a seal. What could go wrong? Also, this is very, very deep. So I have these little plastic cups from when I used to make slime and I am simply going to create a base for my snow globe. We're just gonna haphazardly get started. I am making myself a little mountain. I'm fashioning it out of these things that I'm gonna hot glue down. And also I've located my hot glue gun little cute art mine hot glue gun. And I think I'm gonna run out of hot glue, but we're just gonna do it anyway. I have fashioned myself a base. It's literally so ugly, but it's not gonna be seen. It's okay. I'm about to glue it to the lid with the E6000. So I'm lining it all the way around because I really uh, don't want any air to get in. And now we will just quickly, um, Plop it in the middle here. Oh, it's definitely not sealed all the way around. So I think I'm gonna put like a book on here or something to hold it down. That's not, that's not staying. Oh no. Good morning, it's early. Oh, well actually it's not early, it's 12.32 and I have made a lot of progress on my DIYs. Full disclaimer, I am emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted, every version of the word exhausted. The holidays have taken absolutely every bit of enthusiasm I have out of me. <laughs> so excuse me for just trying to get through it today. Take a look at this. So first we have our snow globe situation. Now these are not glued down, I was just kind of putting them, oops, where I want them, but these are glued down and they look really bad. So I'm hoping that we can make this work. Next up, we have my Chanel earrings. I'm a genius, these turned out great. I will model them for you in a second. The gingerbread house, it's coming along. Super excited about this project. The matte color turned out really great, so soon we're gonna start icing it. And then my art club hoodie. I think <laughs> it kind of like didn't work out, but I think it's gonna be a happy accident situation. If we take a look at the sleeves, it kind of like got on the sleeves. Let me show you. My kitchen isn't dirty, it's just literally all the DIY stuff. And as we can see, I just pulled it out of the wash and it kind of like bled everywhere. <laughs> it didn't stay where it should have at all, which is fine, but I think it's gonna look cute after I finish it. I think I'll do this one first. Let's bunch it up and let's get ready to dye. I mean, it's still, like it's, it's not as damp as I think I want it to be, so I'll dampen it and then I will dye it. I have taped this one up and dyed it yellow with this hoodie string and now I'm doing this one, this blue one. I was trying to be a little bit creative and we're gonna see how it turns out. This is a really dark blue and I'm kind of hoping it doesn't stay this dark blue. So good on that and then we'll wrap this one up. Oh shoot, I got blue on the hoodie down here but hopefully it's fine. I mean, we're still going to plan. It's gonna be fine. Let's start adding in our pink kind of all over. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. This could like ruin the whole hoodie or I could make it. It's a break, make or break moment here. I've messed up. I've, I've ended up striping this more than I wanted to. Oh no. Like I think I just destroyed all the fun color I just did. So I probably won't let this stay pink for super long. Like I'll probably only let it sit for a few hours like this before washing it out just to hope to get like a more pastel look. This is a bad idea. And I'm running out of dye, oh no. Good thing it came with multiple packs. <laughs> oh no. 
This is a different color. I've messed up. I've messed up somewhere. Oh no. I think this is a different color too, but we're going with it. Then I guess I just let whatever happens happen. I'm gonna also put ice on top and see if that does anything. Great, there's pink everywhere. Uh, okay, I'm done with this one. And I guess we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Okay, this is either going to go really good or really bad. I just finished hot gluing the entirety of this thing and there is a ton of hot glue here which is intentional because i was kind of trying to make it look like maybe it was on ice i don't know so all of these little things are from target these little trees and this ornament i actually have one of these ornaments on the tree but i bought another one specifically for this diy i also got these little handcrafted ornaments because i thought that they would maybe fill with the liquid and then also help with the effect let's just dump these out so Big snowballs, right? And I don't think that this is enough uh, glue or glitter to cover these pieces. Like, I'm just like afraid that it's all gonna look really, really bad and that I'm gonna be really, really stupid. I'm gonna dump these three glitters into this big jar. We have white, we have blue, and we have tiny little gold stars. As we can see, I've added in the glitter. It went pretty well. I did spill it all over the floor a couple times. That's just the way it goes. Basically, the goal will be to stick this in here and then have it be a snow globe. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be like, I don't know how many bottles I need. You know, you don't wanna leave too much room at the top. This is great vlog content. I bet I added too much glitter. This is probably too much glitter. I'm like nervous. Okay guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. Gently, gently, please work. Oh no, oh no. The glue that I've added is posing a problem. So we might just have to start ripping it off. Ugh. Here's the issue. I already know this is happening. I know that I'm gonna be able to get this on. I, I've been working with it, but now I'm like really afraid that some of this oil is just gonna fall out everywhere. I mean, it's supposed to be a watertight seal and as long as nobody touches it, it should be fine, right? I literally forgot I was recording and like walked away. Guys, here's the earring. I can't see, oh, here, there we go. That's upright. This hole in this ear, I always have trouble getting earrings into because, you know, I got a pierced at Claire's when I was like seven and when they just jab the dull needle through your ear, it doesn't always pierce correctly. Here's how these turned out. I think they turned out really, really cute. Wow. It's looking cute. I'm gonna quickly just like get some hot glue around these edges here. All right, here it goes. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I was expecting. That's why I had this plate here. Did I use the plate? No. Oh no. It doesn't actually stay down because there must be too much oil. And the hot glue I just used just like, oh my gosh. I try so hard to make good content for you guys and not take shortcuts. And unfortunately this, it's not gonna work. I've messed it up, I've made a big mess. There's glitter, there's baby oil everywhere, like an adult's worst nightmare. And it looks like this. This is what my finished product looks like and I can feel the baby oil going down my hand right now because I am not able to seal this jar shut and I've made a huge mistake. So cute. Wow, this is a snow globe jar I made four years ago. It's still pretty okay. Some of the rocks have like come up, but it was supposed to look like this. Why couldn't this happen to me this time? I cannot express how happy I am that this is finally gonna be over this video. It's giving me such a headache. These DIYs are so hard. So we have our patch and paint. Okay, hey, that's actually a really good consistency. I love that for me, because that means this will probably go better than anticipated. Okay, so let's let's just start, you know? See, we're kind of doing like a like a little pattern here, because I'm trying to make it look like shingles. Kind of like that. See? And then you build all the way up. Okay, I'm almost done with the roof and I'm like really happy with how this is turning out. I think it's super cute. Yeah, that's cute. This side's not looking too hot, but that's okay because this side's not gonna show. It's like on the very back. I want to do like door detail and stuff, but I just, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like super reach that. Oh, also guys, I don't know if I showed you, but it lights up. Oh my gosh, this is, 
this was a good idea. What's next? Like, what do I, what do I do next? Do I attempt to do like the windows, the doors? Maybe I line the bottom. Let's try for the windows, I guess. Okay, so maybe I'll start here. I mean, kind of, not bad. But now I've like committed to it and I have to do them all. Okay, so we know that I did the front windows, but I just don't think I'm gonna do the side windows. I think that I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because I don't know, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay, I'll just do it. There's only side windows. Luckily, there's no back windows. These side windows are just not it. There we go. Gingerbread house, guys. I mean, it doesn't look bad, I don't think. I'm about to add some sprinkles to it and then it'll be done. Now we have some candied lights which I think would be real cute if we just kind of did them like this, because this is what it shows on the picture. What the heck, that is so cute. It's over. I have a big headache, I feel really nauseous, but I'm very proud of myself. Here's how the gingerbread house turned out. As we can see, super cute, super festive. We love that whenever we touch it. It's, you know, it's drying. It's gonna take a while to dry, but I'm like really pleased with how it turned out. And this one was actually super easy. Like it was way easier than expected to kind of like pipe it all. And then I got these like candy stuck in it. Like love it. Now it's time for the hoodie reveal. So again, this hoodie was hoodie and kit and everything was sent to me by Laura DIY. Woo, it turned out. Pretty cute, I mean, actually, I don't know how wild I am about it, but I really, really like it. I tried, you guys saw, tried to do two different color strings here, but I wish that this would have stayed a little bit more vibrant. I did wash it twice. This is all my fault, really. I'm happy to say that I think that maybe absolutely nobody else has an art club hoodie like this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Next time's fun, because it's gonna be essentially a Christmas vlog, because I'm gonna be hanging out with my mother-in-law, like Zach's side of the family, and then the next day I'm gonna be hanging out with my family, so we're doing like our little Christmas celebrations early, because that's how everything lined up, so the next vlog will be Christmas-related. Okay, thanks for watching, bye!